My name is Jim Pinder. I'm the Senior Corporate Fleet Director at the Herb Group of Companies, uh, located here in Baden, Ontario. We were contacted by Road Warrior to do some testing. We've had uh, three trucks that run California for us on a regular basis uh, with lithium batteries in the APU. So we've been running them for just about a year and we're seeing great results. The battery is a critical part of the uh, operation of all of our equipment. The battery is the, the power for uh, a number of different systems that we require to be able to uh, make the equipment do what we need to get done. With the batteries that we use in our long haul trucks, there's eight batteries, four uh, battery banks. Uh, primarily the front batteries under the driver compartment are there for starting and operation of the lights and components that way. And the batteries that we use on the back in our battery powered auxiliary power unit, they're used to make the driver comfortable in uh, either extremely warm or cool temperatures. Electric APU is an auxiliary power unit driven by batteries. Those batteries are charged off of the engine alternator and those batteries supply support when the engine is shut off, uh, when there's no power coming out of the alternator. So it gives the driver some comfort and uh, gives them their uh, opportunity to enjoy their time off work without having the engine running. Uh, we put an anti-idle system on the truck so the truck will start to make sure the batteries stay charged but whenever possible, the engine is off. APUs, uh, what we find is uh, we put batteries in that need, uh, need maintenance. Uh, we get connection problems, we get corrosion buildup at connection uh, of wires and grounds and, and joining cables for the batteries. Uh, and the batteries go through a, a lot of banging and shaking as they go up and down the road, so it's important that they're well made and uh, well constructed. Within the sleeper compartment of the truck, you know, drivers are looking to have microwaves, refrigerators, and a number of drivers that require sleep apnea machines that are powered off of the auxiliary batteries. So it's important for their quality of life when they're on the road that we have uh, long uh, lasting and strong support from the batteries. Having a technology that gives us uh, support while the driver, for the drivers while they're on the road, it's important to us. Um, you know, the drivers like to watch movies, uh, they, they want to be able to communicate with their family, uh, keep cell phones and GPS trackers uh, charged up, a lot of that kind of stuff is important for, for our people. Um, we're looking at making it a, a comfortable environment where the stress is removed from the driver and the concern about whether they're going to have enough power for the, the next coffee they need to make or when they're warming up a meal so that they can uh, continue to be healthy and, uh, and feel good when they're on the road. What we're looking for uh, from the batteries uh, and what we're seeing so far from the lithium is they're lighter weight, so we're saving weight on the, on the equipment, allows us to haul more, haul more payload. The batteries uh, stay clean. We don't see uh, any corrosion or buildup on top of the batteries that we've seen with a, a lead acid type battery. Uh, we're also seeing that the engine has to run less to keep them charged up, that they uh, have a very equal distribution of power and come down very low in the, in the power cycle and then they charge back up well while we're driving between our uh, destinations, whether it's a pickup or a delivery. The test so far has really shown uh, to us that the lithium battery has been a positive addition to our fleet. So what we're seeing from a fuel efficiency on the current units in the fleet is an improvement. Um, they're using less fuel because uh, the truck is not running. Drivers are able to take their eight to 10 hours off and not have the uh, engine, the diesel engine, start at all. By utilizing lithium batteries, we see the opportunity here where we're going to be uh, ahead of our competition when it comes to saving fuel. Uh, no matter what uh, engine we have in the equipment, if the engine is not running, we're going to be ahead of the game. Uh, also, it gives us a competitive edge with uh, driver recruitment and retention where drivers will be more uh, comfortable in a truck where the engine does not have to start and it helps us meet legislated requirements across North America. 
I'd like to thank Road Warrior for their participation in the testing we've been able to do over the last 10 months within our fleet. Uh, their support has been uh, very appreciated, not only by our maintenance people, but as well as the drivers that have been involved in the program. So, so far it's been a win-win and we'd like to continue on with this. We have some new units coming in which we've purchased lithiums for and they'll be installed here in the next two weeks.